A siphon is a pipe connecting two reservoirs at different water elevation, in which the liquid pressure in the pipe would locally become less than atmospheric. In the siphon, the liquid flow from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir. In the process, the liquid is lifted up to an elevation higher than the surface of the upper reservoir before it go downward on reach the downstream reservoir. These photographs on the movie illustrate a simple siphon used to drain a laboratory flume. The red color dye on the transparent wall of the siphon conduit enable us to visualize the flow motion in the siphon as the water is lifted upwards to pass above the black colored wall of the wheel and then is discharged further downstream. When the siphon flow full, the application of the energy equation between the upstream and downstream reservoir gives a relationship between the velocity in the siphon and the head difference delta h vertical head. The velocity v in the siphon is given by the equation of conservation of mass or decompressible fluid. On combining the equation of conservation of mass and conservation of energy, we obtain a relationship between the discharge of the liquid in the siphon and the difference in vertical elevation, delta H, between the two reservoirs. The startup of a siphon is called priming. It requires to exhaust the, the uh, air or the gas from the top of the siphon. Once primed, the siphon discharge at the rate given by the above equation. In the particular case, where the, dis the siphon discharge into the atmosphere as sketched here, the outlet exit loss coefficient would be equal to 1. The siphon is a simple and efficient form of drain. To drain a reservoir by natural gravity, at the highest point in the siphon, the pressure falls below atmospheric, and the pressure P at this highest point might be obtained from energy consideration, in which delta Z is the elevation of that location above the upper reservoir, and L prime is the length of the conduit from the upper reservoir to the highest point. Practically, the lowest pressure in the siphon may occur downstream of the highest point, because the pressure losses may lower the liquid pressure more than the change in elevation increase the pressure. An application is a siphon spillway. Indeed, the siphon principle may be applied to spillway design. Advantages of a siphon spillway include a relatively high discharge per unit width, the absence of mechanical and moving parts. On another hand, the operation of siphon spillway might be adversely affected by the risk of entrance blockage, the presence of sudden atmospheric pressure, some instabilities during the priming, and the dangers associated with sudden surge of water released downstream of the dam. This photograph shows the outlets of a saffron spillway of the ill-fated San Francis Dam, while this second photograph shows a physical model of a saffron spillway in a hydraulic laboratory. Related hydraulic structures include the inverted siphon and the air-regulated siphon, both of which will be discussed in other video movies. The inverted siphon is basically a pipe connecting two reservoirs in which the pressure is always greater than atmospheric. Inverted siphons have been used since antiquity and magnificent structure include the Roman aqueduct at Aspendos and at Gier. The air-regulated siphon is a relatively recent development which allow a month of air into the siphon during the priming, ensuring a smooth and gradual priming action on a controlled siphon spillway operation. The operation of siphon on siphon spillways constitute a basic application of fluid mechanics to open channel hydraulics and hydraulic structure. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.